knew they were there, but they just haven't been a nuisance. And recently, within the last year, we've seen a lot of activity. And this is the outcome. Several turtles attacked, some killed, some left without limbs. I went out to feed them in the morning, and I found two empty shells on the ground. And they were usually hidden under a bag of leaves or something. They say raccoons are the problem. Pat Callahan says his barking dog woke him up at 4 one recent morning. He went outside and saw several raccoons attacking his turtles. I got the hose out and put it on high pressure and blew it into the forehead, and it kind of sat there for a little while and gradually it got wet enough or annoyed enough, I guess, and ended up going away. And one of his turtles was eaten. His turtle Charlie lost two limbs. Residents say they're now seeing a lot more raccoons and there might be a reason for it. People trap them and then they release them in this neighborhood. They think this is the wilderness or something. She says the Game and Fish Department has trapped several raccoons already, but residents say it's not helping much. I don't want to hurt them. They are part of being in the valley. We know that, but they've gotten so thick, you know, I mean, we know of six of them right now that are, you know, case in our neighborhood here where, you know, there used to be one or two. And Allison says she still has three more turtles wandering in her huge backyard, but she has not seen any sign of them lately. Another neighbor says raccoons have attacked a dog and a pond fish. As for Charlie the turtle, he's still recovering. His owner plans to get him a prosthetic limb.